Okay, welcome to today's video and we will discuss about the mechanism of action of warfarin which is uh, well known and commonly prescribed in blood thinner. Normally the liver synthesizes uh, lots of coagulation factors including the vitamin K dependent factors, uh, factor 2, factor 7, factor 9 and factor 10. And uh, after synthesis of these polypeptides which are critical cells still not active form of um, uh, coagulation factors they need uh, to be activated by adding a carboxyl group to the gluten residue. So this carboxyl gluten residue is required for uh, binding to calcium ions, which are required uh, for interaction of coagulation factors and also for interaction with platelet membranes. So to have this uh, carboxyl gluten residues, uh, they need reduced form of vitamin K. Okay, which uh, can be recycled from oxidized form of vitamin K, which is already used in the reaction. But when there is uh, enough amount of warfarin in the blood, this reaction will be inhibited, like converting oxidized form of vitamin K to reduced form of vitamin K by inhibiting the enzyme uh, vitamin K epoxide reductase. So when there is decrement or there is not enough reduced form of vitamin K, there will not be uh, addition of enough amount of gamma carboxyglutamate residues and there will be decreased cal calcium ions binding to uh, the these uh, peptides so there will be less interaction between the coagulation factors as well as with, with uh, platelet membranes and there will be reduced uh, uh, clot formation